in this lecture our aim is to discuss the time dependence of the density matrix as uh, you have learnt about the density matrix already in the previous lecture so now it is very easy to see how uh, this density matrix depends on time actually the equation uh, which we will obtain uh, to show the time dependence of density matrix that very equation is the quantum mechanical form of the Liouville theorem we have already learnt about Liouville theorem in previous lecture actually that was the classical version of Liouville theorem so you can also say that uh, the subject matter of our present lecture is to deal with the quantum mechanical version of Liouville theorem okay as here there will be a time evolution so definitely we will have to start uh, from the time dependent Schrodinger equation you know for a particular quantum state let us say ket alpha for which the eigen function is let us say psi of alpha if you want to write the Schrodinger time dependent equation what will be the form of the equation you can see the equation will be i h bar del psi alpha del by del t equal to h psi alpha here h is Hamiltonian operator you know now yeah, you know that uh, the eigen vector psi of alpha which represents a particular state this is actually expressed as a linear combination of the orthonormal eigenfunctions phi of k and so this psi of alpha can be expressed as sigma k ck alpha phi k okay now when we will use this equation 2 which defines psi of alpha in equation 1 what will be our result you can easily see so let us substitute this expression of equation 2 in equation 1 at the place of psi alpha so this uh, equation 1 now becomes i h bar del del t and at the place of psi alpha we will write summation over k c k alpha phi k and that is equal to h of psi l h operated on psi alpha but psi alpha is equal to summation over k c k alpha phi k okay and this is uh, actually schrodinger's time dependent equation okay now we will multiply this equation by phi m of phi m star which is actually the complex conjugate of phi m and after multiplying that equation by phi m of a star we are going to integrate this result over q okay so you can see our result will be what this will be i h bar del del t summation over k c k alpha integral of phi m star times phi k d q k okay and in rhs we will again multiply by phi m star and integrate over q so the result will be summation over k c k alpha integral of phi m star h phi k d q k okay actually you know that this integral of phi m star phi k d q k this is actually represented by the Kronecker delta delta m k okay so instead of the integral in LHS I have written here delta m k okay and the remaining factor is i h bar del del t c k alpha okay and you know you have definitely studied such type of idea uh, during the study of Hermitian operator and also the perturbation theory that this integral of phi m star h phi k d q k this actually represents the expectation value of the operator h and that is represented by h m k 
so instead of this integral i have written here h m k okay so you can see i have mentioned it here that uh, this integral phi m star phi k d q k this is delta m k which is known as kronecker delta and uh, you are well known to this kronecker delta you know that this kronecker delta is equal to 1 when m is equal to k but this uh, kronecker delta is equal to 0 when m is not equal to k okay and the next integral that is integral in rhs of that equation that is integral phi m star h phi k d q k this is symbolically written as h m k and it means this is the uh, actually the scalar product of uh, a state m with the state h operated on k okay so uh, the this equation uh, which contains delta mk this uh, lhs will be non zero only when m is not equal to k oh, sorry only zero when m is equal not equal to k but if you want to get the non zero value of this lhs you must put m equal to k so now let us substitute m equal to k then this kronecker delta will be 1 and uh, we will change this subscript k by m in lhs so our result becomes i h bar del c m alpha by del t and that is equal to summation over k c k alpha h m k okay now after getting this result you can write its uh, complex conjugate what will be its complex conjugate you can, you can easily see actually at the place of this i you have to write uh, i h, uh, minus i and uh, at uh, the place of c m alpha and c k alpha h m k alpha you have to write their complex conjugates so you can see the complex conjugate of that very equation is what this is minus i h bar del c m alpha star by del t equal to summation over k c k alpha star h m k star okay now uh, as you have already studied the density matrix in the previous lecture and you have seen the basic definition of density matrix in uh, phi k representation is what you know this is defined like this this is rho mn equal to summation over alpha p alpha c m alpha star times c n alpha here you know that this p alpha represents the probability of a, a particular state represented by the k vector alpha okay so making a use uh, of uh, this uh, result that is uh, the result for the rho mn now we will differentiate this equation 5 with respect to time t okay because our aim is to know the time dependence of this density matrix so uh, now we are going to differentiate it with respect to time t partially so our result will be del rho mn by del t in lhs and uh, as in uh, rhs you know this p of alpha is the probability of a particular state represented by the, the state k alpha so it is time independent but this cm alpha star and cn alpha alpha both are time dependent and so we will follow the rules of uh, differentiation of product of two functions of calculus to differentiate it and so what will be our result this will be summation over alpha p alpha c m alpha star times del c n alpha by del t plus c n alpha times c m alpha star by del t okay now we will multiply this equation both sides by the factor i h bar to use the equations uh, in 3 and 4 so let us multiply this result by the factor i h bar both sides 
So after multiplying it, what will be our result? You can see this will be i h bar del rho m n by del t and that is equal to summation over alpha p alpha times c m alpha star and uh, i h bar del c n alpha by del t plus c n alpha i h bar del c m alpha star by del t. Uh, nothing has been done only the factor i h bar appears in both sides so result is same okay now in this result we will make the use of equation number three and four so let us see first of all what is our equation three and four you can see equation three reads like this this is i h bar del c m alpha by del t equal to summation over k c k alpha h m k and this equation number 4 is minus i h bar del c m alpha star by del t equal to summation over k c k alpha star h m k star. So uh, you can use this result here at the place of this i h bar see here i h bar del c n alpha by del t by the use of equation 3 this factor can be written as summation over k c k alpha h n k okay and this uh, i h bar del c m alpha star by del t by the use of equation 4 will be equal to minus this will be minus summation over k c k alpha star h m k star so after uh, making the use of equation 3 and 4 uh, this equation now becomes i h bar del m n by del t equal to summation over alpha p alpha times c m alpha star times summation over k c k alpha h n k minus c n alpha summation over k c k alpha star h m k star okay now uh, we will simplify this result to some extent let us see the first term in rhs can be written as summation over k h n k summation over alpha p alpha c m alpha star uh, times c k alpha and minus summation over k summation over alpha p alpha c m alpha c k alpha star times h star m k okay now from the definition of the density matrix can you say uh, this factor is what this factor you can see the definition i have written it here in this equation 5 and you have already discussed in detail this definition in the previous lecture so from the definition of uh, density matrix we can easily say that this factor which is which is just i am underlining is nothing this is simply rho m k this is density matrix okay and again the factor uh, here that is uh, summation over alpha p alpha c n alpha times c k alpha star this is in fact uh, rho n k this is also density matrix so this second term now becomes uh, what this is summation over k h n k rho m k minus rho n k h m k star but as you know that this h n k or h m k or h k m anything you can say this is hermitian and as it is hermitian so definitely it will be uh, its conjugate will be uh, same as hmk because hermitian operators are self adjoint okay and so you can say that at h is hermitian so h star h m h star km is equal to hkm so in this result we can replace this uh, uh, h star mk by h mk okay that can be replaced 
and so now we'll write h m k at the place of h m k star and so after this our result becomes i h bar del rho m n by del t equal to uh, for uh, convenience uh, here minus has been taken as a common factor and so uh, the sign of the terms inside the bracket will be just reversed and after this you can write it summation over k rho n k h k m minus h n k rho k m and this uh, bracketed factor can be written as rho h minus h rho m n okay and you know uh, from the definition of commutator operator that this uh, bracketed operator is nothing this is the commutator of rho with h so finally you can say that this i h bar del rho m n by del t this is equal to minus rho uh, minus commutator of rho h actually this is the equation of motion you can say this is equation of uh, motion in terms of the density matrix okay and uh, if you will observe this form of equation uh, seriously you can remember this is nothing this is the form of liouville theorem okay this is the form of liouville theorem so this mathematical equation is known as the quantum mechanical version of liouville theorem <clears throat> this represents the time dependence of density matrix rho m n and this equation is nothing this is simply the quantum mechanical version of liouville theorem okay so i think you have understand the each and every step of the calculation here okay so whenever a question you will be asked either a long type of question or short form of question in your examination particularly in academic examinations like uh, your msc uh, ma examination uh, on uh, this to discuss the liouville theorem a uh, quantum mechanical version of liouville theorem you have to write down these steps okay thank you very much